Yo, you guys are on camera. Cheers, sweetie. Hey, cheers, Josh. Well, tell me about your your bodybuilding. I mean, you're going to go in an up. Uh, you're going to go into some competition soon, right? I have one coming up in November. November. Yeah. Well, you know, I believe so strongly, and I, you know, I didn't know much about bodybuilding until I met Jack. Mm -hmm. But it's it it takes a lot of a lot of people do not realize the discipline that a bodybuilder has to go through in order for not only just building themselves up and working out, but they, the discipline they have to do is when they pose. I mean, I didn't realize how tough it was to pose. Yeah. It is tough, isn't it? Well, I, I'm assuming it is. I don't do too much, too much posing because the you competition don't? I, I, I oh, do. Oh, you I don't, don't have do, to pose? I don't have to do this. Oh, you don't or, have no, to do that? No, I just stand there and go. You just stand there? <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, I see. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. But oh. it, it does take a lot of dedication but it to, does take to a... work out and, and, and to, to eat a, um, yeah. and drink a healthy diet. Yeah. yeah. And I'm, uh, and he is, he's, he's disciplining himself on, 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 on what he puts in his mouth because... What you put in your mouth today is walking and talking tomorrow. Right. So, um, um, and he, he's an, uh, I mean, it's, it's I funny. can say, I mean, he's an advocate of, <laughs> you, you just look at him, can you, can you show him what, can I, look at this, look at that muscle. <laughs> it's what funny, all my other competitions, I, I didn't eat too much vegetables. If I did, I would only stick to like maybe um, broccoli. So oh, with, I love broccoli. With this diet, I'm, I'm pretty much a vegetarian now. Yeah. So I'm trying to hold it different well, way good. and trying to get as lean as possible. You know, so there's a lot of people food. that are vegetarians and, and whatever you whatever works for you is the most important thing. If what if it's working for you, then if you're looking good and you're feeling good, so be it. That's it. That's a, that's that's all there is to it. Can you talk to me about Jack when he what bodybuilding? Being around him as a husband who worked out all the time and ate. See, help me understand how you become a good spouse to somebody who does that. How do I? Well, because Jack did that. Tell me about Jack bodybuilding when he did it your whole life. What What was it like? You know, what was it like to, to be with Jack? Yeah, uh, yeah. I never thought about it by the way, because all those years he was. Well, I don't know. I I Jack would go in the <laughs> Jack would go in the in the uh, in the gym. Or, or if we were on the road, he'd, he'd bring a little mini gym with him. That was before they had gyms in the hotels. But he would uh, he would work out, I mean, no matter what. He, but I'd always tell him, you work out with Jack? So you're asking me questions that I wasn't, <laughs> because he rolled out and I rolled over. Right. So because, and when we were in the hotel, he'd be making all this noise and clanking, or even in our house in LA, I mean, he would clank and make these noises. I'd put the pillows over my head. And then I would get up at seven or something like that. And then I'd go and down do my own workout. But, and he would always, if he came in, he'd say, well, you're doing this wrong. You've got to have a full extension and contraction, you know? So a lot of times I wasn't getting the full contraction and extension. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So, you're, you're talking about the man in your life telling you that you're not exercising right? Hmm, that sounds familiar. <laughs> So wait a second. So, so so you he'd get up, you'd roll over. I like that. That is awesome. Yeah. But you're good at that. Yeah. I, <laughs> well, because you work out really hard, but I never thought about the fact that Jack must have worked out. He worked out two hours every day, didn't he? That's right. Yeah. And if it was if it, we were any place near a pool, but he always he always had to swim. He's he 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 always ended up with workouts with a swim. Hmm. So. And so to be fair, ever, as you're saying all that, you can't be in your own light. Do you ever just probably shadow because of light right behind your head? I know, I'm not in this. I just want to make sure, just so you know. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway. No, no, so actually, I'm actually really curious because think about it. I'm looking at him and I'm looking at his physique. Um, what's it like to be in love with a guy who's got all these muscles? It's kind of cool. All the girls look at him, don't they? Did all the girls look at Jack? Well, I, I never thought about that. <laughs> I always thought about, you know, I, 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 you know what? A lot of people say, well, oh gosh, and Jack was in built, really built. And I said, I fell in love with Jack's mind. Not as, not, I didn't fall in love with his brawn. I fell in love with his mind or whatever. Well, I have to because the truth is that's nice and all, but I like what's up here. I like what's yeah. up here. So, but you, you, a lot of people, you know, when I first met Jack, um, people was, in those days, they, the movies made people that worked out and looked, Look, 
great. And the coaches coaches would not let their their uh, athletes work out with weights or work out. They they um, they frowned against using weights. They said they really? would get muscle bound. And that what that years concept of that was well that started way back in the thirties.